Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel where we post daily videos on cutting edge technologies. In today's world where generative AI models and chatbots are the latest technology and in order to use it you need to have the perfect prompt. So in this video we are going to be discussing the 13 tips for prompt engineering that will help you in getting better responses from these models. So let's dive right into it. The first and most important tip for prompt engineering is to be clear and specific. When crafting your prompt, make sure that they are unambiguous and clearly specify the desired format, tone and output you want from chat, GPT, Bard or any other model. For example, instead of writing, write a blog post on productivity, try prompting it like that. Write an informative blog post giving three productivity tips for the remote work. By providing clear and specific prompts, you can get more accurate and relevant responses from ChatGPT. The second most important tip is to create personas. The personas are actually roles that you can give to the chatbot in order to help you within a specified situation that might seem a little confusing. So instead of simply prompting that provide me important tips for improving my marketing strategies, you can provide it something like this. You can firstly provide it the persona that you need to act as a marketing specialist and then you will write your prompt that says provide me the tips to improve my marketing strategies and it will provide you much better results in this way. The third tip is to providing the context. The more context you provide, the better the results will be. Provide as much relevant information as possible in your prompts to help the chatbot understand the context of your request. For example, instead of asking ChatGPT or any other platform to write an email to my subscribers list launching my new product, you can also provide context by saying we are an eco-friendly company Write an email promoting our latest X product that does buy and is targeted at environmentally conscious consumers. By giving all of this information and a frame of reference, you can get more relevant and accurate responses. The fourth important tip is to anchor your prompts with examples. Providing examples is a powerful way to anchor your prompts and give a framework to work with. For example, if you are looking for a catchy slogan for your sports brand, try asking Help me create a catchy slogan similar to Just Do It. So by providing an example and a frame of reference, you can get more accurate and relevant responses from the chatbot. So the fifth tip is to pose open-ended questions or requests. Generative AI is designed to create, so simple yes or no questions are limiting and will likely yield short and uninteresting outputs. Posing open questions gives room for much more flexibility in the output. For example, a simple prompt such as was the American Civil War about states rights will likely lead to a simple brief response. However, a more open-ended prompt such as describe the social, economic and political factors that lead to the outbreak of the American Civil War is far more likely to provoke a comprehensive and detailed answer. The sixth tip is to constrain the chatbots. Guiding and constraining chatbots is an effective way to coral them into giving you the best possible results. For example, you can ask it to give you a response that is maximum of 30 words long. So this is useful because it allows you to add constraints to the prompt. You can also ask them to limit the number of characters in the response, which can be fruitful in giving you much more concise and usable information from the technology. Seventh tip is to avoid conflicting terms. Long and complex prompts sometimes include ambiguous or contradictory terms. For example, a prompt that includes both the words detailed and summary might give the model a conflicting information about the expected level of detail and the length of the output. The most effective prompts use the positive language and avoid the negative words. So a good rule of thumb is to be as simple in logic as possible and also avoid the ambiguous or contradictory terms in order to have better output. The eighth tip is to break things down step by step. So breaking things down step by step is a powerful way to engineer prompts that get better results. For example, when creating a marketing offer, you can't create a compelling offer or product without first understanding your target audience. You can break it down into steps like this. Firstly, define the avatar for this product, for this niche, for this specific outcome. Then build the desires and plans for this specific avatar, then create the offer matching these pains and problems and this approach corrals the technology and provides you with better results. 
The ninth important tip is to structure your prompts on the basis of some prompt framework and this will ensure your prompt to be successful every single time. So one of the example of the prompt framework is the GCA which is goal, context and action. So your prompt should clearly define the goal, the context and the action that should be performed and using this prompt framework your prompt will always generate the correct output for you. The tenth tip is to encourage multiple alternatives. Encouraging multiple alternatives in an effective way to play with the language model. When brainstorming ideas for headlines, you can say suggest three alternative headlines or for example, you can say write me 20 titles for this blog post. This approach allows you to experiment with different prompts and see how they affect the output. The 11th tip is to use punctuation to clarify complex prompts. Just as humans rely on punctuation to help parse text, AI prompts can also benefit from the use of commas, question marks and line breaks to help the system parse and operate on the complex prompt. So when you are using a complex prompt that includes multiple tasks or multiple lines, then you should be using the punctuation mark to separate the different tasks present in the prompts and to clarify the prompts for the model. The twelfth tip is to split your task. This means that instead of providing all the tasks in a single prompt and confuse the model that which task should be performed first, you should split your task into multiple different prompts or into different chunks separated by punctuation mark. So this way, the model can generate responses in a much efficient manner and will cater to all the tasks present inside the prompt instead of providing all the tasks in a single prompt and confusing the model. Tip number 13 is to try iterative prompting. Play around with your prompts by putting in a prompt, getting an output and then iterating on that output by asking more questions or providing additional instructions based on the initial response. For example, initial prompt can be list 5 benefits of the product X, then follow up with which of these benefits is the most important to the students. And in this way, you can use this iterative prompting approach to have better results using the model. Tips that can help you in getting better responses from the generative AI model. Thanks for watching.